Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is the big welding video. Uh, but before we get into that, if you could subscribe to my channel and drop a like on this video. Um, basically what we're going to do today is we're going to weld in the floor pans. Um, and I'll talk about it here more in a second. Uh, you'll see that I, um, this is filmed after I've already done it. But uh, I had a hiccup. I used my Chicago electric welder. So that is the welder I used. Uh, basically... I tried to start out at minimum voltage and basically speed four. The problem I was quickly uh, realizing is that, uh, that, so that was the setting that I used on the scrap metal that I practiced on. That I discovered that that was not enough uh, voltage for the actual car itself. It was penetrating the pan fine, but wasn't getting all the way down to the car. So it would actually build up on the pan before penetrating the car itself. And so I, you'll see in part of the video, I started having, some, if, uh, I started having some, some uh, basically the welds breaking. As soon as they cooled down, they just pop off through from the tension. So uh, turn the heat up a bit, and it worked great. Um, but we'll uh, we'll talk about it more here in a second. Uh, the set point that worked basically was max voltage, um, speed four, and I used the Vulcan .03 inch uh, wire. Here she is, all P.O.R.'d in and ready to go. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, hopefully this is the big video I'm installing the floor pan. Uh, been working on the pan a little more. I'll show you. Uh oh. <laughs> Just dropped my paint or my bottle on POR, so we're gonna put that over here. <sighs> All right. So a lot of got a lot of hate, obviously, over my welds. So what I did is I basically uh, put down a bunch of some more beads and uh, POR'd it. So we're gonna put two coats of POR on. Right now, the first one's drying pretty thin, and we'll put another coat on here in a bit. But. This should uh, prevent the rust, and I, I tried to cover as much of the area that's going to be hidden as possible. There might be better ways to do this, but uh, this is all I can think of at the moment. So, uh, it'll, be, it'll satisfy my needs. This car is never going to see rain. I think that's what a lot of people fail to realize. This car will either be in this garage or out on a nice day such as this, and it's never, ever going to get moisture in there outside of what's in the air. So if it rusts apart due to moisture in the air, then so be it. But I'm doing my best to protect it, and I'm an amateur, so I'm, I'm doing what I think is best. But I appreciate you guys commenting and people who actually message me and provide useful feedback. Guys, so I got all the nuts welded on, and they are not going anywhere. They are substantial. Uh, the welds around there, some dirt accidentally blew on there. But I put a coating of POR on all the spots. I'm not going to be. Able, I might not be able to reach later. Um, and then I went ahead and covered everything else. And I'm going to put another coat on when I can. But like under the muffler, I might not be able to reach it, so I went ahead and put coating on over there, and then um, we'll uh, we'll dress it again later. I might even cut the muffler out later and put something else in, uh, so it might not be a big deal. But I wanted to get a coating on. If it burns off a little bit on the welding, I'm not going to be super concerned. I'll t touch up as necessary, but uh, I just wanted to go ahead and protect some of the areas that are already kind of dried out. But I left all the bare metal where it should be welding. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pour POR all around the seams, let it soak in, and hopefully that'll take care of all the other bare metal I wasn't able to reach. I've got six cans, so I should have plenty. One can does like six square feet, two coats. So, uh, yep, moving forward, guys. All right, guys, here we. All right, guys, here we go for real. All right, we're going to start from the middle and work our way out, but I need to get this thing braced down onto the pan. So I need to hit two or two or three of the welds.
All right, guys, here's where we sit. Uh, some of the welds are better than others. Some are a little more spotty. Uh, we're gonna sand them down. Anything that doesn't look good, we're gonna redo. Um, but right now, I mean, it's doing the job. To, it, it's in there, so, yep, we're gonna keep going. So I started out on uh, the medium, I'm sorry, the minimum and the four speed for the Chicago electric welder. And I've since taken it up to uh, like max voltage and full, still speed four. And it seems to be penetrating pretty well. If you move it around, that's how you make sure you can guarantee the connection. So uh, it's, it's, it's coming out all right. It's going to be a lot cleaner once I actually clean it up. But it looks a little messy right now, but I'm not, not too worried about it. I'm definitely getting penetration. Actually, too much penetration sometimes if I stay still for too long. All right, I'm going to keep going. All right, guys, so the first iteration of welding is complete. I'm going to go over it with a wire wheel, and then we're going to go over it with a sander to kind of clean up the welds a little bit. Sanding wheel. So let's do it. Alright guys, there you have it. Definitely not the prettiest, but it is solid. Oh yeah, you're gonna hold. Well, I'm happy with it. Remember, it doesn't have to be prettiest, it's gonna be a rugged little race car anyway. But, sweet. Alright guys, I grind down the welds uh, enough to my satisfaction. Um, like I said, it's not pretty. I had to use a flux core, but it did the job and it's in there solid. So next step, I'm going to seal. I want to fill the cracks and uh, rust proof this. So I've got six cans of POR. I should only really need two, maybe one and a half. And we're going to dump it in here to fill in the gaps uh, and, seal, and seal the metal. So uh, let's get to it. And this might not be the method that a lot of people use, like, but that's what I'm doing. And I've already, uh, I'm blocking the, I'm trying to keep the bolt holes safe by putting a bolt in there, spare bolts. One more can. All right, guys, there you have it. It's POR'd, we're gonna let it dry. I'll put another coat on. Uh, this stuff is, uh, yeah, this stuff's really good. I used it on my gas tank. Um, and then, once this is dry, uh, I'm gonna debate, I'm gonna think about it a bit. Uh, I only have to do half that floor pan over there and clean up the other half. Um, but I'm gonna think about it, but I think I wanna rhino line it. I really do. Uh, I know a lot of people might upset you, but I think I wanna rhino line the bottom instead of carpet and uh, kind of go full race car with it. Even if it's not a real race car, but we'll give it that feel. Let me know what you think, comment below. Uh, Would have done it a better way, let me know. Uh, but you know what, I've never done this before, and since I got the car 500 bucks, what did I have to lose? 
Um, it should stay in there pretty good. The welds were definitely uh, fused, but um, and the POR should definitely fill the gaps. And we'll keep adding some, and then we'll put some seam sealer in and, or whatever. Uh, but let me know what you think. Uh, yep. Thanks for, guys, thanks for watching, guys. Well, Max, run, get in your car, run, run, get in, catch him. Oh, spinning ain't winning, son. Uh-oh. Yo. Go, Max.